Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another save editor video for No Man's Sky the game. We are looking at our date today which is June 8th, 2023. So this will be very up to date here and uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to set this up as if you are a new player uh, just putting this on for the first time as well as if you're updating, as you can see on my screen, a newer version of the save editor is available. Please go over to github.com forward slash goat fungus forward slash NMS save editor to download the latest release. So let's follow me over there and let's do that. Okay, guys. But for the new players, if you have not used this before, what I would do first is on your desktop, make a folder called uh, the save editor. Or we can just take the, uh, I guess you can unzip it there to your desktop. I think it just zips as one folder. But I would put a folder in a folder, you know, just keep it nice and zipped up and nicely anyway. Uh, I also like to have my PC Banks folder on my desktop as well. If you guys may know what I'm talking about at all, if you're doing modding in the future, uh, we'll talk about that later. I got a modding 101 video. You, maybe I'll put a link in the description. I'll also put a link in the description for this goat fungus uh, here. So let's go over to that. Zoop, boom. All right. So now we're over here at this uh, <laughs> github.com forward slash g -g -g goat fungus forward slash MMS save editor. And it brings us to this page right now. Um, what you're going to want to do is you hit the green button right here. But first, let's talk about uh, what's going on here a little bit. Let's talk about some of the requirements, some things you might need. Uh, so most of us, we're, we're going to be already updated on what is uh, the requirements. Uh, one of them down here is Java Runtime Environment 8. Um, if you have an issue or if you just want to make sure you can uh, install and download this Java Runtime Environment 8, uh, there might be uh, many different reasons why you don't have it, but most cases you should be fine to go. And if there's some um, some other tools here for the PS4, and there's also some other tools for you Xbox players out there too. It's called Nom Nom. I don't know if they've updated it yet. Uh, I know there's a Discord for Nom Nom. It's probably easily found. You can Google it. Uh, and those boys over there can help you out. Uh, with getting you guys set up. They're really nice over there. They'll answer you pretty quickly. I've used the tool a couple times just for experimentation, and I found it to be pleasurable experience with those guys over there. So uh, on to this here. Now that you got the requirements and everything out of the way, let's go ahead and hit this green code button right here, and I'm going to hit download zip, and let's download the zip file. Hopefully it'll take uh, pretty quickly. Last time, uh, GitHub was down for a minute. It took a long time, so that was pretty quickly, folks. And <clears throat> let's go ahead, and I'm going to open this up here. And it's opened it up over here. I'm going to show you this little window here. It, 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 when it first opens up, it shows you this, like, I don't know what this, comments. And it shows you this big, long number. And you're like, I don't know what to do. I've heard a lot of people tell me about this. I just <laughs> hit the X, hit close. And then what's going to happen is over here, uh, I have this. It's going to show you what's actually in the zip folder. So I've got that sitting there. I think we can close out the uh, uh, the browser here. We can talk about uh, Goat Fungus one more second here, okay? Uh, I do believe he has a Patron down here. We can click on this really quickly. Not to do a plug-in for the guy, but the guy does a whole bunch of cool work for free uh, for us. And a lot of us have been using this tool for a long, 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 long time. And Brandon Matthews just kind of just does this thing, man. So uh, show him some love. One time, many times, sign up, doesn't matter, me, go show him some love, uh, and he likes it. So anyway, that's uh, all I wanted to do there. Maybe I'll put a link in the description for this as well. Okay, so now that that plug is out of the way, let me close out my old save editor. <clears throat> let me hit OK. Let me close out the old save editor. I See, I have my, my save editor folder right here. We're going to open that up. I'll bring that over for you to view on. Now... I have this zip folder right here with the other save editor in it. I'm going to open this up, and you can see that I've got this stuff right there. It's a, kind of the same as this. Now, for you new players out there, um, what you're going to want to do is just move this stuff right here over to the folder that was called um, your No Man's Sky folder that you just made. Okay, 
or you can just go up, I guess, uh, the save editor master. You can just drag this right over here onto your desktop. You can just go boop and drag it. I'm not doing that. I'm trying to uh, update mine. So I want my, uh, my folders here, which you're not going to see yet. You're going to see after you open the game. I want to replace what I'm doing. So for everybody else who's following me along of just updating their save editor, this is how you do it. I'm going to drag these right on over. It's going to ask me uh, if I want to replace these files and the destination. Yes, I do want to replace those files. That's what I'm doing here. And that's it. Okay. So that's it for updating. Now, you new players, you're looking at a folder, but it doesn't have these. Uh, it has all this in it, but it doesn't have uh, the backups, bases, exported, and the uh, Red Moss generator in my, my personal folders. But some of them will open up. Uh, after you open the game like the backups every time you open the game it makes a backup of itself this is one of the coolest functions it's also probably for me it's probably a la uh, rather large file it's uh, 600 megabytes <clears throat> so fairly large for a backup uh, there's a whole lot of them in there but at any point in time I can go back into time to I don't know, all the way to four years ago, probably. I have these dated back for all kinds of different things and different versions of the game. Um, yeah, there you go. Or let's just say you messed up something just recently and you just want to go back one or two saves. Instantly done. Uh, it's a beautiful thing about these little things. Uh, one of the most uh, powerful tool uh, aspects and tools of the tool that gets overlooked by many people. So with that being said, let's move on. So with the news players, let's go ahead and open up the file that opens up the application. It's not the application, uh, uh, the type over here, it says application. Most people want to click this too. This is for your unzipper that they have. What you want to do is click on this little cup of coffee right here. NMS save editor with a little cup of coffee. It says the executable jar file. So we're going to go click, click. I got a new mouse today. It's a little Corsair. It's very nice. It's a little smaller than my other mouse. I'm going to get used to it. It's got all the buttons and stuff, but uh, yeah, I like it. So while we're in here, the first thing that the new players need to do is tell this thing where to look at for your No Man's Sky file. Now, I don't know any other reason why it would be somewhere else, but it's going to be on your C Let's go through it together though, okay? So up in here, we're gonna go hit the file. We're gonna go open file path, okay? And you can see that mine is, is all the way back up into here. <clears throat> I don't like that they don't name these when I'm looking in here and I can't tell which it is. I have a whole bunch of drives, okay? So you need to select your C drive and then go into your computer, whatever its name is, uh, you know, whatever you're, you've named your computer, that's you're going to go into those the, those user files there and then you go into app data follow my mouse up at the top you can like see where the file location is for me roaming hello games nms and then the number okay and, yeah. and that's fairly easy to do and then you just hit open and that's it well it's on that so it's been open uh, and for me anyway, and then when you, once you do that and you tell this app, uh, this program where to look at, then you'll have all your slots right here because it knows where to look. Okay. Now let's select one of these. I'm going to select this creative one right now for now. And we're going to go through and talk about this one. <clears throat> once I select a game slot underneath the game slot, there's a save file. Now this save file is, this is where these files are stored in that uh, backup folder, okay? Now they have a special thing and a special number. You cannot rename this, all right? You're gonna want to, maybe if you have an idea like me and you wanna save certain points in time and like name it a certain thing and uh, you can name the folder or something and then put these in there. And that's the way I do it. So, or if you messed up and say, Hey, you just messed up something. Now you want to go back to the, this would be the, one of the last saves right here. You could click on this one and it would take you back to, I don't know, yesterday or, or when was the last time you played it when, so, uh, that's how you keep track of that. So that's pretty cool. All right. Now all that's, uh, out of the way. Is there anything else over here? Um, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, 
With that being said, we can move on and jump into some functionality here. We got the exosuit here is uh, one of the next tabs after our main tab and we get everything loaded up. And uh, I like that how it says it tells me which kind of planet I'm on uh, down here. I think that's kind of new. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, also, you have a save as tab down here. We didn't uh, talk about that, but you could save this as a new slot or something like that. So you can clone some saves. Um, pretty cool. There's a lot of different uh, ways that you can manipulate things right here in this area. That's pretty powerful. And it gets overlooked a lot. It's very simple, but it's powerful. Anyway, uh, the next tab at the very top here is Exosuit. Uh, we have our health. We have our shield, energy, units. This is pretty self-explanatory. Um, the tool itself will not let you bend the rules. So whatever the max in the game is over here will be the max there. You can't put in some ridiculous amount. It's going to correct you. So I guess if you wanted to be sure, you can put in a bunch of nines, I guess. Um and that's how you would know and that's how you can max everything out uh, it will fix you and correct you if you're uh, wrong so yeah there you guys go uh, over here on the right hand side you can see this is our storage area and at the very top here we have our different types of storage so if I click on this we have uh, cargo and then our technology slots okay uh, let's go back into cargo here and uh, let's see, let's pick on an empty slot. First of all, you can just move these around, okay? You can move them, that's pretty cool. And uh, let's see, you can right click on it and, uh, and, and learn some item details. Uh, but let's talk about right clicking on one of these empty slots here right now and let's go into add item. I'm not gonna go down this here because uh, there's a bunch of file trees here. You can see product, substance, uh, you can pick one of these and go into another big file tree, which then goes into more file trees. And yes, we can spend all day on just talking about what's in the add items. There's a uh, uh, numerous amounts. What I will say here is if you're typing in something, don't hit enter on the keyboard, click search. If you do, it's just going to click out of it and, and it's not going to search for it. You're going to be like, well, I didn't find it. Um, it's because you have to click search and not hit enter. So, uh, that's a, I think that's where some people get lost on some of this stuff here. Little tiny quirky things uh, like that. So, yeah, that's that there. Um, let's go back into technology. I don't know if all these slots are supposed to be like this. But let's say we want to add some slots or uh, enable them. Um, you can do this in here. Like we can, let's say we enable. Can we uh, enable this one? Okay, so we could do it one by one, and you see the enable all slots, and that's just for this particular screen. Most of us don't want to do it that nitpicky, but if you're a purist, maybe so. But the best way to do this is over here under edit, and we can uh, expand all inventories, boom, go back up to the edit, go uh, enable all slots, boom and then go to repair all slots and technology so everything's just been expanded everything's been opened up and everything is uh all of it's done at once okay uh so that way you don't have to really mess around with doing it one by one i think that's a super cool thing uh the rest of the tabs are going to kind of talk like this i mean there's there's uh your different sections uh tree up here and then you have your sections down here so We'll talk about it briefly, but this is kind of the layout and the UI is going to flow like this for the rest of the tool. Uh, Multi-tool is gonna be the uh, same thing here. We got the you know, how many uh, multi-tools you have will be right here on this one. Your names, your types, you know, we can switch them to whatever you want. I don't know what a switch is, uh, since it'll be. So uh, there's new things in here that I, uh, that I haven't even quite seen yet, so. Yay! I'll go check those out. Uh, that might be new for me. So there's new uh, weapon types in here. I've seen the Royal uh, Sentinel B and Switch. I'm not even sure, but I switched it to the Switch. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we could check that out. Now we get into a, a cool, another cool port where it's a, an import-export. So uh, this is where you can get your, uh, your multi-tool all set up really cool with a style that you like. And then save it and share it. 
or just have them to call up at will. But with, you know, we were allowed to have, I don't know how many it is now, uh, quite a bit. But anyway, that's really cool. Uh, let's say if I wanted to import one, I, I'm sure I have one in here. I got a gold royal and my red exotic that I've had forever that I like. There they are. Uh, very cool. So if I wanted to switch that, I could. And that's a cool function about this. Uh, in here, if you do the right click, uh, we have some different add items because we're in technology. It already picks a slot for us and we have procedural and weapon and uh, your file tree in this section is a little bit limited. So with that being said, we'll move on to ships. Here we are at ships now. Uh, and the same layout here, you got uh, your how many ships that you got and uh, their, their main uh, description. There's the name down here. I don't really bother with all that stuff. Uh, there's the types. You can go through all of this stuff right here. Uh, horizon vector uh, for the switch. Uh, fairly cool. Let's go ahead and turn that. Uh, you're about to change ship types to horizon vector. Are you sure? Uh, incompatible technology installed on ship will be deleted. I don't really care. Who cares? <laughs> you know, I want to just see what it is just because I have it. And let's change it to an S class. Why not? Huh? And then if you can hit generate seeds, I mean, you don't want to do that right now because it might change what it is actually there. Uh, use old colors. Uh, if you had some old legacy colors, you could uh, click this box uh, on that, I suppose, is the uh, is the uh, the word on the streets. I'm not quite certain. I don't use it. So uh, and again, down here, we have our, our hyperdrive. We can definitely max these numbers out down here. I haven't done that yet. So let's cool. Let's go ahead and throw some nines down in there. And max them out while we're in here, right? Sounds fun to me. All right. So uh, in here, down there again, uh, we have the import-export functions for the ships. Very cool. Uh, for ship collectors and chairs and all that other stuff, not only are you have the ship for somebody, but it's already set up and ready to go and maxed out. You ain't got to do anything. This is the way we. This is the way the gaming is supposed to be going. This is what we should already have. Sean Murray, come on, man. This game is too cool to be sitting on it like it is. Anyway, all right. So uh, next up here, we are. Uh, we've got the squadron tabs. I don't really mess with this thing too much, but uh, you know, you got the wingman. You've got uh, wingman two, and uh, you can enable these and then change them. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I do like to come in here and maybe change the ship seeds, and I'll do that so I can have maybe a squadron of. Um, you know, squids flying with me. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. I don't really mess with this too much, but it's kind of fun. I did my squad of uh, squids and did my video, and it made it put a smile on my face. I won't lie. Okay. Freighter, again, uh, here's another one. Uh, I, I don't really, you know, I mess with this a little bit, and I do my main bases here, and that's a about it. I just care about the uh, the JSON file for my bases on this pretty much. But you guys might come in here and mess with this as well. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory uh, 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 right there. Uh, over here, you do have your uh, cargo and then your technology slots. So um, cool thing about the freighter is that we do have some cool uh, technology slot items um, in here. Not the salvage. Not procedural freighter. So warp core resonators, freight or hyperdrive. So if you put a bunch of these on here like this and just keep on stacking them all the way, you can go all the way across the galaxy with one jump. Um, it, that's kind of nice, you know. Anyway, that's that's cool. Do pay attention to some extra cool items in there on the technology slot. And other than that, I don't think there's anything too much uh, to uh, talk about there uh, besides you changing the numbers the way you want them to. All right, so talk about the frigates. Um, you know, I like doing the cloning thing in this. Uh, it's about the most powerful part about it, you know, is uh, cloning and copying, uh, which I can let me let me minimize this down a little bit so you can see that down there. Uh, my my face is copying over the copy button there. So yeah, uh, down here you can kind of like say, like if I wanted something, and you can change these to whatever. Uh, you know, if you look over to the right here, you can see the type. Uh, we can pick a bunch of um, the deep space guys here, and then we can change it. No, I can't change the class yet, huh? 
Well, that's kind of weird. I guess you got to go up in class naturally, but you can get some C's in there. And I know I have some S classes uh, naturally. I thought you could do it. Maybe that's been changed, but I have done it before. And once you set all this up, I like to just uh, to copy, copy, copy. So if I liked this one here, I could just sit there and copy it over and over. Copy, 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 and just be done with it. And uh, yeah, um, that's fun to have a big fleet of these guys uh, rolling around, right? Uh, very cool. Uh, we'll go on to vehicles. Vehicles, the only thing I'm going to uh, talk about here is you'll see that some of this is grayed out. Vehicles have their own rules and regulations for layouts, so the save editor will not expand every slot and enable them all. Why? The game just won't let you. They have their own, I don't know, like a, I don't know, a crossword puzzle. They're just blanked out in some areas. Uh, but you can pick your pieces over here, and you got your cargo and technologies. You can go uh, uh, put all your cool uh, stuff over here. So your, uh, I mean, these are really cool when they're all modded out. Boom! You're you're zooming all over the place. That's one of the coolest things to really max out over uh, in there. It changes the game completely. Pets is cool. You can import, export, and uh, you can pick them all in here and uh, go uh, to your heart's content. I don't really use the save editor for that too much. Uh, not anymore, anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory right there. Bases and storage. Now you can come through here and, uh, pick your, uh, bases. And, uh, yeah, I guess you can move some stuff. I don't know how to do that because I use Blender. So this was a feature that I, that had been added in after I had already mastered Blender and used it to save over probably 300 bases. So that's just how I roll and how I move with this one. Uh, I can't elaborate on this tool down here uh, right now. I, it's going to go into your backup folders, I, I guess. I, I don't know how you would just plant it somewhere. Maybe I will have to figure that out. But as of right now, I just don't know what to tell you. Settlements, uh, the tab is blacked out because I just don't have one on the save. But it's kind of cut and dry. You can go in there, and it's just like the frigates, uh, the ta tab over here. You can change uh, all these little stats over on the right-hand side. It almost looks just like this. And you'll change all the stats, and you get it all in, and you'll save it. And uh, sorry to make it, uh, to, to devalue it to, to that, but that's pretty much it. Uh, it will... You'll have to read it and go through it and see it and change it. And like I said, you can't really mess anything up. And if you do, just don't hit save. Um, all right. So now in here, this is the cool stuff. We uh, The cool stuff everybody wanted to really get in here and do. And um, yeah, if you're here for the save editor, you want all the cool stuff added at once. And this is what I would do. I would go in here and I would hit add technology. Uh, like say if you're over on known technology here. And then I would come over here and click on one of these. And I would hit uh, control A to select them all. And I'd hit add. And now I just added everything. Now I can come over to products. I'll hit this little tab right here. And I'll go to add products. I'll click on one of these hit control a highlight everything and then just hit add boom done um and then you can go through here and um let me let me minimize this down over here so you can see uh your known words you can just learn them all uh and then you can learn all your glyphs now what i've been told is if you learn all the glyphs before you go to the storyline sometimes it can uh, put a dead end on the storyline and make it kind of glitchy so just be warned about that. If you're a purist story player, maybe be warned. But then you're already kind of uh, here. You're probably not even going to be here. Uh, but for you guys thinking about it, that might mess some story progression up. You've been warned by me. All right, so here in the milestones and reputation, I don't really mess with this too much. I don't know if Steam honors a lot of this, but you can come in here and mess uh, with this if you want. You can tell that I don't mess with it too much. Uh, so pretty funny, right? Uh, cool. Uh, accounts, this is where you can go and get some of the rewards, the Twitch uh, drops and the uh, expedition rewards. Um here, you can just click them on to the left-hand side. But if you want the Twitch drop rewards, what you have to do is click these. And then you need to go into offline mode. Then you go over uh, to the vendor and you grab them. But what I would suggest you do is grab a mod by Winder TP called Consumerism. And you just put the mod on and just walk over. You can do it live and just grab things. And that, that's just cool. So... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think we uh, wrapped up the video here. 
uh, fairly quickly besides going into uh, uh, editing the raw JSON and stuff like that. I mean, you can come up in here and you can go into coordinate viewer um, and you can pick which galaxy you want to go into and you can see your coordinates and we can do a uh, JSON uh, uh, video, but I'm not going to do that right here because I think that just needs to be talked about in, in, in a shorter video. So that's going to wrap up this video for the current save editor for right now. And uh, you guys hit that like and subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for the next video. These things are forever changing because that's the way they do it down there at Hello Games. And you guys hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.